looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going up with the top power-ups that we do need tomorrow in madden 21 guys as you guys do know if you didn't see my morning video go check that out we were confirmed that wildcard wednesday will be another batch of power-ups which is super awesome guys because as you guys do know they promised us power-ups and wildcard wednesdays this year we got it early in the year. It was the coolest thing ever, right? Everyone's super hyped, like, oh, cool. So that guy and this guy, and when that new promo comes out later that comes with that LTD player that needs the power up, they'll just drop them on Wildcard Wednesday, right? It's pretty much a, uh, a like a cheesy way for them to fit in players that they didn't have before, right? Wrong. They did it one time, they took a big break, did it again, then they took a massive break. And at this point, it was like, now it's so late in the year, why do it now, right? I wish they, what they need to do is do these kind of like power, power, power up days, like every two to three weeks, but earlier in the year. So we have them, you know, when we need them. Instead of giving us Campus Hero power-ups two months after Campus Heroes and the cards aren't even usable overalls anymore. But besides the point, guys, I'm still super excited for tomorrow's power-ups. I'm going to go over the top eight cards that I think need a power-up tomorrow. And if they don't get a power-up, guys, they're not doing this right. First, they gave us Campus Heroes. I kind of wasted it. Um, they definitely need this. Now, this will help with theme teams. This will help with, you know, meta teams. Super excited. Hopefully, they do get this right. Before we get into the video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, come join the family, everyone. If you guys are new, always sub. And if you guys are always here, like and comment, guys. It helps a lot. Now, guys, like I said earlier in the video or yesterday, comment two things in this video. Who is the number one player that you guys think needs an update in Madden Ultimate Team as well as, guys, oh, power-up wise, right? And second, make sure to comment down below who was the biggest free agency news to you yesterday. Was it like a signing, a re-signing, you know, a trade? Let me know down below. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, let's get into the rest of the video and show you guys some of the power-ups. So heading in to the power-ups on the auction block, or well, I should say the players that I want to see. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the players. And I'm going to just be going over them and telling you guys the stats and kind of the reason why I think they should get a power-up and why I kind of want them to get power-ups. Of course, some players are a power-up away from being meta, right? That's kind of the thing here with um, with a lot of the cards that are going to be on this list. And that's kind of why we need power-ups from them now. I just hope that they do actually incorporate good power-ups tomorrow and we don't just get, you know, the same run-of-the-mill, you know, trash ones. But let's go on down, guys. So for the first guy on my list, it's going to be... Actually, not with the all-rookie promo. It's going to be with the Mud Hero. So, Mud Hero is an all-rookie. I have quite a few players that I do want to see. So, the first player was one of my top five guys is Brian Burns. Brian Burns badly needs a power-up, and I'll tell you why. Brian Burns gets 99 finesse move, right? With pass rush. But if you get a power-up on him, he gets 99 finesse move without the pass rush cam, which means you cannot put run stuff on him and get 99 block shit as well. You know what I mean? So, before, you have to put one run stuff on him for plus one finesse move. Now, instead, you go give him a power-up, he'll get 99 finesse move, then you put run stuff on him, he gets 99 block shed, and he'll now get 95 speed. So, it'll be 95 speed, 99 block shed, 99 finesse move. will be one of the best uh, edge rushers in the entire game right now, and I think that'll be super clutch for a lot of teams, especially some Panthers team teams. So, I mean, Brian Burns is kind of like a shooter one that definitely needs one. Next on the list, a guy that I really like in reg rosters, although in Madden, we haven't really gotten too much love for him, but Josh Allen. Another guy that needs a power up here. Now, why does he need a power up as well? Similar to Brian Burns, except this is just going to be more of a, you know, just it's a good card. It's fast. It'll just get some attribute boost. There's going to be not, there's not going to be one specific stat. So here's the thing. He's not going to get 99 finesse move without pass rush anyways. So you still got to go pass rush on him. You get him to 99 finesse move. But he does get a plus one speed, some excel, some tackling, some play racks, some block shed. You got to give him an all around boost as well as, you know, open him up to just being able to get up to a 99 overall with chemistries as well. No big stat on him is going to change that, like, really makes or breaks his power-up, you know, chances that, you know, he needs it. But he's still going to be a good card, and it's going to make him a little bit better. And, you know, a lot of people like to have power-up, especially on cards they get for free. Next, guys, on this list, this guy is going to be one of the newer cards that just came out. Now, this card comes from the newer um, drop we just got, which is the free agency promo. Now, Leonard Williams, new guy, Giants, right at now. He's actually not horrible. But he does need a power up, of course, to get him up to at least a 97 overall because, again, we're getting past 96s at this point. So 96 might be too low for people to put in their team right now for meta teams. So it might be nice to get that 97 as well as for Giants theme teams or a Jets theme team. Guys, remember, they also get their old chemistry, so he can get his Jets chem as well for team chems. Now, the power up will give him base 80 speed, which means he gets to 82 speed with Sprinter as well as base 90 Excel, which means that goes up as well. It will get his play rack above 95. It will get his power move to 98. His block to 97. All around just makes Leonard Williams a better card. Now, he's not going to be a meta card, but again, the, these are the best cards I think they need power ups. You know what I mean? Like, they may not all be meta cards, but these are the cards that we're missing power ups for. Now, the next one here is actually a team of the year center. 
that I felt for a while, like, you know, you know what sucked with the team of the year linemen? They were fun. You know, I don't mind getting a team of the year lineman, but let's say you get Corey Lindsley, you can't power him up, which sucks because typically when you get Nat, like, end game players, the first thing you want to do, you don't care what the price is, you're powering him up, right? Because he's an end game Nat player. But because he doesn't have a power up, it actually limits him to a 96 overall, you know, all that stuff. So getting a power up on him gives him 95 base strength, will increase all of his, pa all of his pass blocking to 97s and 96s. And the awareness to 97. And then with Kemsey, you can get a ball to 99s, right? This card just gets better. It looks better in overall wise. And it will give people a chance to get their Nat cards up a little bit in overall. The next one here is going to actually be a Viking that I've been saying for a while. Had he had the power up since day one, he would have been a lot better. As uh, Justin Jefferson. Let's see. The thing with Justin Jefferson was his speed, right? He can only get a 94 speed. Now, with these with Sprinter and with his power up, he will now get a 97 speed, which isn't 98 and 99 but does significantly improve this card from his 96 speed threshold to 97, right? Now, that also gives his base catching 95. That also makes his base short route running 95, which means altogether powered up and come to people have 99 short, medium route running, 99 catching traffic, and 97 speed, which makes him a much better card. Of course, as well, kind of like that similar overall thing. When you have end game cards, you want, you want everyone's in chase of an overall, right? Does your overall matter of your team? Not exactly. But people want to get to that 99, that 98, that 97, right? Having 96 overall players in your team is going to hold that back. By powering him up, you will essentially get him up to a 97, which does increase the you know the lowest player on your team up a little bit as well. Uh, next, guys, we do have one of the newest cards, which again, he's just a power up away from being really, really good. And that's going to be the new Baker Mayfield LTD, as you guys can see right here. This card was upsetting that it didn't come with a power up. A power up in this card, first and foremost, base 99. That's the first thing. It's going to be a base 99 overall card, which is awesome, right? Next, that increases some of his lower stats up. So now his throw power will be a base 98. His speed will now get up to a 91, right, with Sprinter and that. So he has above 90 speed of a 99 throw power. He'll have 99 throw short and as well as 99 throw deep. And you'll have 97, oh, sorry, 99 throw medium and 97 throw deep and 99 throw on the run. His card just becomes absolutely insane. Plus, it gets a power up, increases the overall, you know, card art, all the other stuff. You know, it gets up some other stuff like his carrying, his brake sack, and a few other things. Now, this card overall is just a beast. It was good to begin with. Of course, there's an improviser, but if we could get him up to a, um, a 99 overall, it will even help a bit more. And of course, it will be an end game overall, right? Like, like I said, if you care about overalls, there you go. That will give you that end game feel on that card. Next, we have the all rookie promo. Let me go back to that up here. These are my final two and actually my top two cards that I think need to uh, upgrade. Jeremy Chin is the first one. Strong safety for the Panthers. He's a power up away. Why? Because if he gets a power up, guys, his speed goes up to a 98. A power up and sprinter, 98 speed. That is good enough for most people. Plus six foot three height. 98 speed with six foot three height is absolutely insane. Plus he'll have a base 99 Excel, base 90 tackle, base 96 play rec, which will actually go up to a 99 play rec. Base 97 pursuit. He'll have 99 man. He'll have 98 zone or sorry, 97 zone, as well as 98 hit power. It increases his strength. It increases his jumping to 99, of course, which we mentioned. Um, yeah, it's big. Six foot three, 99 jumping. It'll get his catching up to an 83. His change of direction goes up. His impact blocking goes up. Catching traffic. It's just a great card overall. And now my favorite card in the game that I think needs a power up that I think if he had had a power up all year, he'd be one of the best wide receivers all year. Chase Claypool. First off, why? He's six foot four, 238. That means that if this card is good, he has the physical attributes to succeed, but now he needs the stats, right? With a power-up, guys, Chase Claypool will get 99 speed, which makes him tied for the fastest card in the game, one of the tallest cards in the game, one of the most physical receivers in the game. He will get 99 speed. He will get 99 jumping. He will get 99 catching traffic. He will get 99 spec catch. He will get 99 short route running. He will get 99 medium route running, 97 deep route running, and as well as he will have an 86 agility. But what matters to me is his juke will now be above a 90, which is important. You know, thresholds will get above 90 juke. He'll get his carry up. His stiff arm will go up. His break tackle goes up, guys. This card will be an absolute beast. But guys, that's the list. We got Brian Burns, Josh Allen, Leonard Williams, Corey Lindsley, Justin Jefferson, Baker Mayfield, Jeremy Chin, and Chase Claypool. Those are the cards that I think need a power-up update as of tomorrow. And if you guys didn't know that I was making this video because of that, there you go again. We will be getting a power-up drop for Wildcard Wednesday tomorrow, so hopefully they do address some of these players. And we'll come back tomorrow and, you know, see where we're at. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you aren't to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell. But that's about it. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Check out this morning's video if you guys are confused. But yeah, that's it. If you guys need coins, head over to my coin bank down below. I'm out. Peace.